Yo, what is good? Today we're going to be talking about how important it is to manage your risk, right? So we know as traders, we have to be managing our risk because if our winners are way too tiny for our losers, uh, the losers are going to be up here and winners are going to be down here. So to combat that, we have to use risk management, right? So like this is a one to one bang. We pull it down. Now we got a three point a one to three point eight eight risk to reward. OK, I'm going to give you an example right now this week. I know I didn't upload any live trades. I will be back this coming week. I promise I need to start uploading again because I actually really want to keep uploading videos. I don't know why I didn't, but disregard that. Let's get into the what happened to me this week. So I had two trades on gold. OK, I had two trades, both the same lot positions. I took three lots <clears throat> and I don't remember where my first trade was that I lost, but it was this day. Maybe I took a short set. I don't even know what I did, but I took an L this day and my loss was about six hundred eighty dollars. So I took a six eighty loss on this day, Thursday, right? OK. I'm losing. Yeah, this. Yeah, Thursday. Okay, I'm down 680 on trading gold this week. I only take one trade on forex or gold on the during the during a day. So I will only take one trade on gold, GBP, JPY, GBP, USD. Why is there dogs barking? Okay. And Q and ES, I take a max of three trades. So right there's two rules that I have: forex only one trade a day NQ and ES three trades a day unless I'm absolutely killing it like if all three trades are winners I will be okay risking my profits yo hold up I will pause for a second all right I think that's over with um, somebody was walking their dogs so this was the winner that I took on Friday okay so right we definitely swept some liquidity on this fucking push I just figured that actually we got close to sweeping this bro we create yo all right we created equal highs but we swept all this liquidity i was looking for a reversal right we get a break of structure i took a short from here one and i risked off this candle so after i see we tap into this fair value gap and this order block right tapped into the wick same thing order block fair value gap I took it on the close risk that and then my first TP was the whole way down here at this order block that's already a one to two for my first TP then my last or my other half was out right here and I got that over here and then I just closed it after we started chopping here so this was a one to three point three nine risk to reward I made 1.8k on this trade. Yeah, 1.8k. Hold up, hold up, hold up, hold up, hold up. Let me check real quick. History. 1.9k. $1,884. Yep. $1,884. I also took a GBP JPY trade that I lost $600 on. That was on Wednesday. I made back all of that plus some just with this gold trade. I also took a few other winners, but they weren't that big because I closed them because there was news. So I did not fully get out of that position. Also, my GJ trade was a loss because of news. So I need to remember that I can't trade news, but that is how important managing risk is, right? So let's just do this, <clears throat> right? Let's say... You have a $1,000 account, okay? You risk what? Let's say average risk is 2%, right? So what is that? $20, 1,000 times 2%, 20 bucks. So let's say you lose two trades in a row, right? Minus $40. So you're down $40 on the account. Now that account is at $960. Okay, so $960 now. We had a 1,000 account, we took two losers, 
40 bucks, two losses, $40. Now, how much do you need to get back to be back at uh, 1,000? You need to make four and a half percent. So, hey, 1,000, two losses, $40, 960, need 4.5%. So now, already taking two losers, you have to make 4.5% of that account to be back at 1,000. If you, uh, if you risk 2% of 1,000 on both these trades, I wasn't counting 980 risking 2% of 980. So two losses at $1,000 is 40 bucks. Now you're down to 960. You have to make 4.5% back to be back at 1,000. If you blow this account, if you lose minus 50% of this account, right? That's $500. How much do you need to make back to be back at a thousand? $500. So you have to 100% your account. You have to 100% your account if you want to get back to 1000. So to lose, or let's say you just lost 50% over the course of a week, right? You just went on tilt, you lost 50% of your account. That now turns into $500. So not once were you back, or not were you at $1,000 before this, you now lost half of your account to turn it into $500. Now you have to 100% your account of $500 just to get back all the way to $1,000. So why on earth are you risking, let's say, I don't know, some people risk like 5% on a trade. If you have a $10,000 account and you're risking 5% a trade, that's $500, right? 10, 10, Five percent, five hundred dollars. So now you're down to ninety-five hundred. You need to make back ninety-five hundred, five point five percent. You need to make back about five point five percent of your account. So not only whenever you take an L, wow, whenever you take an L, your ego might get hurt a little bit, but you now have to make back more to get your account back to what it was. So whenever you just start out, why would you be taking risky setups like a short right here because you think this huge move is going to just reverse right here? You have to have reasons. You have to have a setup. You have to have risk management. This is a risk on environment. You can't be just th free balling cash everywhere. You can't just be putting longs in here because we just had this move up. If you're trading the way that I do on my YouTube, you know that, oh look, we're changing market structure. Oh look, this is gonna be confirmation that we're about to head lower. We tested a fair value gap in order block and we even closed below this low. We are probably gonna head lower. So, why would you long here, risk off, I don't know, low of day, just to target this? That's a one to 0 0.8. Now I'm not saying you can't have a one to 0.5% risk to reward. Your win percentage might be 90%. You can be profitable with a negative RR, but if you can't manage your risk, why are you taking horrible trades? wait for your setup wait for confirmation and then go in with what your size should be accompanied to your risk so if you're if you have a one thousand dollar account 
a $1,000 account and you want to risk 2 point or 2% of that account, you are risking $20 every trade. Oh man, I want that to be in capitals. Every trade. So why would you say let's go with 3 lots on gold even though a point even though one point equals a hundred per lot why would you do that if you're looking to risk twenty dollars per trade and you want to take three lots on gold even though every single point is a hundred dollars per lot so not only is gold a hundred dollars per per point hundred dollars per lot so this is three hundred dollars per point so as soon as so you'd have to be risking what how many ticks is that I don't know a hundred dollars per point how many ticks are in a point one point a hundred ticks you'd have to risk one tick or something like that two ticks so why not go in with Point 0.1 lot, point zero 0.08 lots, and then you can risk off probably like three point, I don't know. One lot is a hundred dollars. I don't want to do the math, but you can figure that out. You can go into a calculator, figure it out. But why on earth on a $1,000 account, let's say it's 10,000, you want to risk 200 every trade. Even still, even if you want to take one lot on gold, it's still you can only risk two points you can only risk two points on gold and if you know how gold trades oops look one candle 30 up to 32 right there this candle you're stopped out you're fucking out you're stopped you took a short at the candle open you're out by the candle close you're fucking done there's two hundred dollars down the drain done so why 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 would you over leverage yourself when you sh know you shouldn't be? You should have a notebook. You should be writing down your trading plan, your risk management, your risk criteria because everybody has criteria on what they're willing to fucking risk. So stop trying to risk such an excessive amount. It makes no sense especially if you want to do it full time because if you have this is your only source of income what can you can't even say anything literally oh look we're reversing i'm going to risk off the whole way down here just the target here oh look you took a whole lot that's $660 on a 10k account bang there vanishes 6.6 of your fucking account because you couldn't be patient and you couldn't manage your risk. So if you lose 75% of a thousand dollar account, you're down to what? $250, $250. You have to, holy shit. You have to about, wow, that's a hold on. That's a lot more than I thought it was. You have to 300% gain your account back if you want to be profitable or if you want to get back to your original stage of your account if you start off with a thousand lost 75 percent down to 250 300 percent x that account you have to 300 x that account 300 percent gain on that account just to be back at break even so do you understand that you have to exceptionally be exceptional at managing risk. Cut the losers when you are wrong. Stop thinking it's going to come back. It's not going to come back. Maybe it will. Maybe it will. Maybe you'll get lucky one or two times. But that one time, that one fucking time, you're going to think it's going to come back. You're going to add on to your position and you're going to fucking blow your account. Just because you thought gold was going to go back up this day. Or you thought ES was going to bang, come back up. Well, I just need to clear this chart out. 
Oh, by the way, if you watched my... Oh, by the way, if you watched this video, they did exactly what I was going to say they would do. They did exactly what they said out that I thought it was going to do. Exactly. So if you didn't watch that, go watch it because I called the market almost precisely. Almost precisely. Just about. Anyways, that's it for this video. You need to learn to manage your risk. And if you do, and when you do, you will become profitable, my friends. I will see you in another video. Goodbye.